and I can already tell this video is going to be an absolute fucking shit show, fellas. But what's going on, guys? It's me, OG Connor. And listen, this is a different kind of video. It's not a story time. It's not like a ran or anything like that. It's, it's like one of those old school commentary reaction videos. I figured I'd do one of these, you know, spice things up a bit. And, you know, maybe put some out different that you guys would enjoy. I'm not going to just do these from now on. I'm still going to do stories and other shit. Just mix these around, you know, maybe one or two a month just to spice things up. But, uh, yeah, there's the intro. Back to the video. Alright, could someone fucking explain to me what the fuck was just said in that? I have absolutely no clue what this man over the radio just said to this wannabe Paul Bart police officer dude. This this kid sounds like one of those kids in like 2012 on BO2 with like the shit $15 Walmart headset for Xbox that only has like one headset side and just the other side's open. That is exactly what this guy's mic sounds like when he's talking to Paul Blart over here. Alright, my bad for stopping the video every 15 seconds, but why is this guy so sus looking like walking in the bathroom? Like, I get it's like a skit, dude, but like, in real life, if you're walking in the bathroom to go drool with your homie, are you really gonna look like you're about to smuggle 25 pounds of heroin over the Mexican border? This man is like checking every direction, looking every which way, just to make sure Paul's not on his ass, dude. Like, if you're gonna do it, be subtle about it. Don't be like, sussed out about it trying to go into the boy's bathroom, dude. Alrighty, I'm gonna I'm gonna need a fucking replay on that. Did you guys hear Paul take that deep ass breath, dude? W what's going on at home, Paul? Is everything all right with the wife and kids? Like, are the kids not calling you their dad anymore? Is the wife seeing a new man? Like, I'm sorry that y your life's pretty stressful right now. You gotta go stop these kids vaping in the bathroom. And I'm pretty sure the school's not paying you too good to be a security guard. I bet it's like $37,000 a year. Man, that really fucking sucks. But uh, if we could go in the comments and say justice for Paul, I want my man Paul to be thriving in life. Not, not sighing like that every day because that shit's not good. I fucking love you. Paul. Yo, okay, my bad for pausing the video, dude, but y'all see that? A double wide surprise. Paul, the security guard, is thick as fuck, dude. Why is this man security guard when he could be a stripper and shake some ass at the local club? Oh my god, this man is he thick as fuck. Paul, I'm just wondering, what size are those jeans, dude? Them shits, mmm. Homie got a fat ass, and I ain't even being sus about it. I'm being straight up. I gotta respect that. It's not gay if you're just flirting with your homies a little bit, dude. And me and Paul go way back, back to high school. We were in the same class together. already know Paul got the nose like a fucking bloodhound dude. He can smell these kids vaping from like a two miles away. He has a two mile radius where he can detect vape smoke only using his nostrils. That's so fucking unrealistic because you really cannot smell vape shit unless you're like near them in like a general area of them in the same room like that's not how that shit works guys like i'm pretty sure you should do your research before you craft these fucking videos because there's no way someone is going to smell vape smoke outside of a fucking bathroom and walk in i've never seen that shit before maybe these kids got some really smelly vape shit i don't fucking know but i've never seen this shit before Hey, 
Hey man, what's going on? How y'all doing? Hey, man, what's that uh, smell, man? I don't know. It's, it's it smell, like, like, smell like smoke or vape or something. What you smell something? Yo, yeah, I smell a lot. Sure. Sure. sure, what you got in your pocket, man? I see you got your hands all in your pocket. You sure? Uh huh. Let, let me see. Oh, a vape, huh? No fucking shit, Paul. W what else would that be, dude? Oh, a vape, huh? No, no shit, Paul. Of course, man has a vape on him. If you're smelling vape smoke, of course he's gonna have a fucking vape on him in the bathroom. And why did Paul do that weird grabby thing and, like, touch his hood pocket, dude? That's weird as fuck. You cannot do that as a school police officer. That's fucking weird, dude. And also, you see this kid on the right smiling, dude? Why is he smiling so hard, man? He, he's, he just got busted for vaping in the school bathroom. That's fucked, dude. You should not be smiling about that. They're gonna call your mama and shit. Illegal. Come on with me. Let's go. Now these kids know, Paul is gonna call their goddamn mamas, alright? Paul is not fucking around, he's gonna be hooking up with every single one of your mothers. And then, if he fucks your mom, you get off with just a warning, guys. Keep that in your head, if you got a single mom, and you know, the school cop is a little bit weird like Paul is, and likes to touch kids' hoodie pockets, and be a little bit of a weirdo, and is having issues at home, just let him hook up with your mom and everything's gonna be okay. He's gonna get you right out of this situation you got yourself into. But yeah, boys, I think th he's gonna call your mamas. Hey, look here, y'all know it's a big no-go. Right? There's zero tolerance for vaping or smoking, especially in a school environment, all right? So right now, I got a citation for both of y'all, all right? You're lucky I'm not taking you to jail because it's a liable defense. Okay, what, what the fuck? I, I, I don't know if this is real or not. Someone can do the research for me. But I, I've just looked it up and it says you can actually not go to jail for vaping underage because it's really not that big of a fucking deal. Like, I, I don't understand why these companies make these videos. Like, this was definitely, like, sponsored by Truth or some shit like that. And Truth is fucking retarded. They're, they are the worst fucking company ever. They're promoting a stupid fucking message. But... I just don't think you can go to jail by vaping, and I don't think the scare tactic is going to help the kids stop vaping, because they already know you cannot go to jail for vaping. I know in some states you have to take like a five-hour tobacco class, and you could get like a $250 fine for vaping in school, but fuck no, you're not going to go to jail for vaping unless you're like a serial killer or some shit and you're vaping. But yeah, I, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe in this state they recorded this, you can go to jail for vaping, but I just don't think that's the case guys. Okay. All right. Just sign right here for me, both of y'all. And for you on this one. That's your work? That's yours. Hey. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was the entire fucking video. It was a it was a it was a Hollywood masterpiece. I'll just put it at that. We had some sad times, you know, when Paul walked in the bathroom and Paul's family life at home. We had some sad times when the boys got caught in the bathroom, and we had some happy times when Paul served the two vapors, the criminal vapors. He served them a ticket, guys. I just want to give a big shout out to Paul, want to give a big shout out to the kids. Thank you guys for, you know, featuring in this amazing fucking video. And of course, it's sponsored by Truth. I should have known at the beginning, I saw the Truth thing, but I just thought they put that there. But it's definitely sponsored by goddamn Truth. Truth definitely paid them at least, like, you know, 20 bucks to make this video or some shit like that. But listen... Fellas, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy this video, do be sure to really like, comment, and subscribe. If you want another video like like this, I'll work on one. It did take me a while to get this done because I'm not the best with editing and shit like that. But you know, we got it done. But yeah, there's gonna be some more stories and shit this week. And just let me know if you want another one of these maybe next week or the week after. But yeah, that's been me, OG Connor. I love every single one of my fuckers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, baby.